Hey, what's up, guys? It's Larry, the robot maker, robot general. And today we're going to talk about FUBOTS or FUBOTS, uh, the new CRM that I launched and uh, have a lot of interest and uh, a lot of questions. So I decided to create uh, Zoom conversations with people who are interested, who are already using it, or who just are curious as to what's going on. So that's what this video is going to be about. I'm actually uh, waiting to have uh, one of my uh, interested uh, parties uh, connect so that we can discuss whatever questions they may have about the platform. So bear with me as I uh, get them to Hey, what's up, boss? It's Larry. There? Yeah, Larry, can you hear me? Yeah, I, I can hear you a little bit. It echoes, but I can hear you. Is that any better? Yes. Okay. Yeah, uh, so just so you know that we're recording this, so I uh, just wanted to give you a disclaimer. If you see anything crazy or silly, I won't edit it, and the world will know. So, uh, you know, just keep that in mind, okay? <laughs> well, I will say one thing. So I like your uh, Optimus Prime in the background there. Oh, yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, uh, Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime. My son's big time in this stuff. He's got like a, he's got an Optimus Prime that's like three feet tall. Dude, really? That's awesome, dude. I, I, I actually might know, is like, is it like the, the plastic one that's kind of uh, half, half empty or whatever? Yeah, it's, it's, so it converts, when he transforms, it converts into the tractor part of a tractor trailer that carries the, and the trailer carries other, um, 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 of the, what are those robots called? Transformers. Yeah, the other ro uh, other Autobots, right? Dude, yep. that's, that's awesome. I thought it was something that I had, but no, it doesn't transform. So what you your son has is probably better than my toy. <laughs> yeah, the funny thing is, is I got him a bunch of that stuff on OfferUp, which is an app on your phone. Over Christmas, this woman had the fire station, and she had Boulder, she had Optimus Prime, she had like almost all the characters, and she had everything for 25 bucks. What? Oh, my yeah. gosh. And they were in great condition, too. Wow! Wow! I am jealous. Uh, maybe someday your your son will uh will get tired of them and he'll sell them to me. You know, and I'll I'll, I'll, I'll pay I'll pay him a premium for it. And I'm not worried about you know trying to get the same deal. <laughs> you know, for the future. Yes, yes. Thank you very much. Please, please keep me on your drip program so I can know if you do sell it. <laughs> okay. Uh, so again, I wanted to let you know, uh, Josh. Uh, you know, this is Larry and this is Josh. We're going to discuss uh, Fubots. We are recording. Uh, and again, I want to say the disclaimer, anything you say, uh, can and will, could pot potentially use, be used against you. So just be careful what you say. Okay, boss? Got it. All right, cool. So um, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen so that you can see exactly what I'm looking at. And you can start firing up any questions. Uh, you know, I, I, I want to do a demo for you, but I also want to just, just let you start asking questions uh, immediately. So just ask, you can stop me, interrupt me anytime. Uh, this conversation is for you. Okay, boss? Got it. Perfect. So do you see my screen right now? Uh, I do now, yes. Okay, so you see like uh, the actual dashboard, right? Yeah. It says okay. FU bots and campaigns, users, lead. Yes. Yes, yes. So uh, before you start asking questions, I kind of want to introduce what this is. When you log into FU bots or FU bots, uh, the first thing they show you is going to be your lead. So it's this that is the a, first part. I instead, I like the FU bots better instead of FUBOTS. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I like, but well, FUBOTS sounds like kung fu. You know what I'm saying? So I, you know, I, I, I like kung fu too, right? <laughs> uh, but yeah, so as you can see, uh, it, it shows your leads in the pipeline view. Uh, it's very similar to PipeDrive, and PipeDrive is actually one of my favorite CRMs. I use it very extensively. In fact, I use it to build my coaching group, uh, Robot Generals, uh, you know, all the, cause I got like tons of interest and then I had to organize it. So I'm huge on pipe drive and I still use it to this day. But the fact that this provides it, I might actually consider just migrating everything to this CRM. But did you build this yourself? No, this is actually developed by other people who are way smarter than me and have a lot more time than me. Uh, I was one of the people that was asked to uh, white label it. Uh, okay. But I built out the campaigns and such myself. Okay. Uh, and, you know, of course, the platform itself is amazing, but the value that I plan to add to all my clients is the curated and self generated, self originated campaigns that I will create and collect. Uh, but, you know, I'm not afraid to say that there are some cam campaigns that are borrowed uh, in the form that, you know, were shareable. So, uh, and I'll go through those as well today.
okay? Um, so again, the first thing you see is like the pipe drive view and you can drag and drop how you see fit. Uh, and you can actually name these whatever you want. You can add, subtract uh, columns or categories or statuses, uh, which is again, it's very similar to pipe drive. But you can also have a regular view, which is, you know, like it shows you all the prospects in one, uh, one page. And it tells you like, you know, their status and of course when it was created and such, okay? Mm. Uh, and you can delete your leads. Now I do want to introduce before I get too deep that this CRM is designed for follow-up purposes in the organization of trying to convert leads, okay? So let me show you like my status. It's very simple, okay? It shows it like a messenger type platform, which is why I love it, right? I mean, it's easy to follow. I can, I can go and, and jump through conversations here, just like Messenger, but you see right here, I can make it an email or a text, whatever I sent out, okay? Right. And, and it keeps a record just like Messenger, so I can go back to see what was said, right? And you can see that these were the ones that were scheduled, right? And I'm actually, I actually uh, did not respond on purpose because I wanted to show in a demonstration uh, what the robots do when you uh, get a lead to opt in. So my phone is getting these text messages every single day because I built it that way. And I purposely did not respond because the way FooBots is designed, if you respond in any way, uh, any way uh, via text, email or whatever, it will stop all scheduled automations until you put them on another automation. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, so these are all the ones that are posted already and it actually shows you what's scheduled so you know this is the last one so it's already done but if, if i had some that were scheduled uh it would show it scheduled so let me see if i can find one that might be scheduled already uh a lot of these people already responded so maybe not um actually well no I already, you already responded as well so uh you know i, I can show you later on but when you add a lead, it, it will set, show you what was sent and also show you what's scheduled, like what's going to go out later on, right? So it's kind of cool that you kind of have an idea of what's going to happen to that lead uh, as time goes by. But uh, again, I want to show you, where's mine? Here, let me go this real quick. Let me go to me again. And as you can see, it has status right here. And there's only four statuses. It's either new responded, won, or lost. Again, this is only designed for follow-up purposes. You're trying to convert these leads, right? Your, your video um, is blocking that. Your vid, the, like the video block of you, you know, oh. it's, it's blocking that part of the screen. Can you see it now? No. Okay. I can, hold on. What yeah, I'm I just, I'll just move you. All right, I see it now. Okay, perfect. So as you can see here, and I'm gonna put this in a place where it's not in the way here. As you can see, you got new, respondent one or lost, okay? Right. Now, it's important, these statuses are important because new, uh, of course, lets you know what's going on. Respondent means they actually converted or they actually uh, said something, whatever. And one means, you know, of course, you converted them to actually purchase whatever you're selling. Uh, and lost means you did it. And the interesting thing about this, if you go to your uh, actual uh, campaigns, right, I can look at m how well my campaigns are doing. See, I can see how many prospects came in, how many responded, right? Um, it shows me the response rate, right? So I got a 43% response rate on immediately. That means my first initial messages are powerful enough to get them to respond, right? Uh, and Right now, I have a 0% conversion rate because I don't have anything one. But if I go to a lead, let's say I went ahead and, and, and mark myself. Actually, I'm going to mark my wife here. I'm going to put her as one, okay? So when you go back to the campaigns, and the campaigns is specifically designed for that campaign itself. So basically, you get to understand how well that campaign is working right so let's say you have five campaigns that you built out you can put those five campaigns on uh you know two different sets of leads and you can see which campaign is performing the best okay right. um so as you saw it the, the conversion rate went up to eight percent because i can put my wife as one you know what i'm saying yeah. right 
Now, the, the crazy thing is, and this is something that I noticed was kind of uh, odd for me, when I put lost on somebody, the conversion rate didn't change. I'm thinking to myself, well, I lost them, so the conversion rate didn't change. But the way they look at it, if it's lost, that person is no longer part of the campaign. Like You're no longer trying to follow up with them, right? right. So it's not a lost deal. It's just for whatever reason, they, they just said they, they want to they want so to. Is that was like a long-term drip then? That's what I would do. Yes, yes. Um, but yeah, I mean, again, you know, that, that's all based on how aggressive you want to be and how long you want to uh, stick with them. Now, I do want to say before I forget, because it, you asked a good question, campaigns right now only last 100 days. That means you can only go out 100 days, okay? Obviously, we want to be able to go at least a year, right? So I believe the developers are trying to get it up to 365 days, but at this point, it's 100 days, okay? okay. So a lot of my campaigns are built out for only 100 days even though they were intended for a year or something okay um so i wanted to just show you that part real quick uh do you have any questions about like the lead uh dashboard or how you manage leads and such no it's pretty simple yeah that's why i love it right it's a combination of my favorite things pipe drive right uh, it's a combination of line desk because it does the follow-up and it's a combination of a messenger because, I mean, like seriously, I mean, this is so easy to respond and, and, and coordinate and talk to people. You know what I'm saying? I can add yep. notes. I can add reminders. I can tag people right here, right? But it's just like messenger, you know? And I mean, obviously, messenger is easy to use. That's why Facebook employs it that way. So they just did a good job of emulating the messenger style of communicating, right? And the fact that you can switch from email to text is really cool as well. So if I want to email someone, I can type it here. It'll send them as an email. Uh, or if I want to send it to their phone as a text, I can click text. It'll send it to, as a text. Okay. Um, so let's go to the actual campaigns. Okay. Now I'm going to switch accounts real quick. Okay. So let me do that. you see that? Yep. Okay. So I don't have any prospects. I did this on purpose. This is my admin account. I will never put a prospect in there. The other account you saw was like my actual FooBot sales, meaning people that are trying to sign up for FooBots or thinking about FooBots. That, those are the people that I have in there. But I want to show you, this is where I'm building the campaign. Okay. So these are all the different campaigns I've built, obviously, because I'm in the real estate mortgage industry. This is what I'm going to focus most of my energy on, but I am going to grow uh, my verticals or industries and add more campaigns. But for now, uh, you as a loan officer will probably appreciate these types of campaigns. Okay. Yep. And I designed it so that there's lenders and agents. Now I'm not going to give everybody the same campaigns. That's why I labeled them. Okay. But, uh, for the most part, if I believe there's a campaign that will benefit you, even if it doesn't completely apply to you, I will send it to you. So like, let, let's say there's like a, a FISBO or f for sale by owner campaign that's designed for an agent. I might send it to you, even though you're a loan officer, because maybe you can kind of remix it yourself, or maybe you can share it with your agent friends and referral partners. Right. right. Uh, but let me kind of show you the meat of one of them real quick. This is the 10 days of pain. This is what uh, robot generals, my coaching group, we teach and we preach. Right. So, uh, this is how it looks when you have it built out, okay? And I'm going to show you how it looks whenever you go and edit and change it, right? So this is an email. You click email, and it turns into an, you know, an email uh, input. You put a subject, you put the message, and you're done. That's it. And you can actually select day, you know, when do you want it uh, from the day you add it uh, to 100 days. Now, one of the things I wanted to point out, because uh, this, this will benefit you, uh, and, you know, of course, uh, something you have to consider because, you know, you want to be careful with how you send messages. I put so many as prospects at it because these are going to be leads that come in from another source like a Facebook lead form funnel, right? So right. the moment they opt in, I want them to get sent something. But I do have campaigns where I purposely wait until the next day to send the message because let's say I get, uh, I don't know, uh, 10 leads from somebody, right? and I'm working at 9 p.m., right? I don't want to put all 10 people on a immediate 
drip of text messages and emails at 9 p.m., right? Because number one, you know, that's kind of not respecting their time. But number two, I don't want to get text messages responding back at midnight. You know what I'm saying? So I set it up and you can change this if you want. I set it up so that once you upload the leads, it won't send anything until the next day. Okay. So that's something that I want you to understand how I built these campaigns. I did it for a very intentional reason. Some of them are designed for immediate firing of the uh, follow-up because it would be a response to a lead opting in. And some of them are delayed on purpose because I don't know when you're going to be adding lead, excuse me, leads into your CRM. It could be at midnight. It could be at 2 a.m. in the morning. It could be at 5 p.m., right? Um, but if you are the kind of person that knows exactly what you're doing when it comes to sending out your messages and you want to schedule it so that it sends it immediately, you can always edit it by just going here and just put send the same day and then put, you know, immediately right here. Okay. Okay. So you have three options, email, text, and voicemail. Okay. So email, of course, gives you the opportunity to do whatever. Text messages, that you do it like just a regular text message and voicemail means you could actually record a message right here on the dashboard whatever you want to say okay so uh, and you actually create one yourself and upload it manually so if you have you recreate one in another way maybe you have a uh, voicemail from another software or whatever uh, you can upload it and they'll actually accept it as the message that you plan to send as uh, the bring this voicemail okay um, so uh, I'm not gonna go through every single campaign but I will tell you that I have campaigns for, uh, you know, listing, uh, uh, you know, listing prospects for buyer prospects, uh, people who maybe didn't qualify for credit reasons. I have a credit follow-up. I have expired. I have FISBOs or for sale by owners. I have people who opted in on the lead uh, funnel. I have people who opted in on the website. Uh, I have all sorts of different types, right? And I have, you know, age leads. So let's say you got leads that you, that, you got from before and they just never responded you can throw them like right here see you can throw them into this so it's like a long-term drip right uh so i try to think you know if this was my serum which it, of course it is what would i want uh to be able to employ or 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 send out to my leads right uh, and what kind of leads do i have to have leads that are fresh do i have old leads do i have leads that are being given to me as a referral whatever right um, and I have some specific special uh, kind of uh, niche uh, campaigns. Uh, for example, uh, like this one right here is a secret LOs campaign, which, you know, you, you, you are a part of. Uh, it's designed for me to communicate to agents, not to prospects or people trying to get a mortgage. It's designed for agents. Uh, so that's something that, you know, if I uh, created that relationship with the agent, then I would put them on this drip. And then, of course, my robots would do their job, right? Uh, but those are ones that probably won't be shared with everyone because not everyone is a part of that group and not everyone would even understand what to do with whatever it is I put here, okay? Uh, yeah. But, but yeah, those are the campaigns. Um, do you have any questions about any of those? No, I understand completely. Okay, perfect. So uh, real quickly, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to create a campaign, okay? So um, I'm not even gonna copy and paste from a script that I have, I'm just gonna make it up right in front of you, okay? So I can either copy or clone a campaign that already exists. So for example, they, uh, I told you how about, uh, I might give you an agent follow-up that's for like FISBOs or for sale by owners. You might wanna remix it to your own. So I would encourage you to get that campaign, copy it, and then go in and edit it and make it so it's tailored to uh, more of a lender perspective or loan officer perspective. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but that way you don't have to sit there and type the whole thing or whatever. You can actually just go in and just change a few words and it'll still fit into your marketing for your specific purposes. Okay. Uh, but for starting from scratch, you just press this. Uh, let's, let's call this uh, the JM demo uh, campaign. And I'm going to make it a five drip, meaning I'm going to do five different messages. And the force call, this is an interesting thing. This is designed so that if you get a lead that comes from another source, like a Facebook lead funnel, it will send it to the CRM and the CRM will know to give you a call directly to your phone 
and it will tell you, you have a new lead. The name is Larry Lee. Press one to call them now. And it gives you the option to literally connect with that lead right away. Okay. That's what, that's what the force call is. A lot yeah. of the campaigns, I did not put a force call because again, people might upload a hundred leads at once and put them on their campaign. They'll be really bad if you got a hundred force calls. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, um, but that's something that you would consider. What am I, am I getting this leads in a way where I want them to, uh, have a chance to talk to me right away or do I want them to just kind of get automatically dripped by my messengers and text messages and emails and such. So in this case, I'm not going to put a force call, but that's what the force call would be. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I, I create create and therefore now I have like a blank canvas here. I click add new. Let's say I want to send the first thing I want to send is a release voicemail. So I want to send it uh, again. I like to delay it. Uh, so if I added the lead, like, you know, at four o'clock in the morning, uh, I want them to get it at eight o'clock the next day. Right. And I can just start recording. Hey, what's up guy. This is Larry, the robot maker, robot general. Just wanted to create a demo voicemail. Uh, if you hear this, then, uh, I don't know how, because I'm never going to launch this drip, but if you do, please let me know so I can see how you hack me. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> and that's it. Right. And then you might not be able to hear it because, you know, of course we're using a mic to communicate right now, but you can play it and it will actually demo it. And again, my sound might not be playing it, but this is how you preview it. Okay. Uh, it. So let's say I'm satisfied with that. Press save. So I know now anyone that I add to this campaign is going to get a bring this voicemail with the message you heard a day after at 8 AM. Okay. So let me go and add a text message. And let's say a day after, and let's, let's say, let's make it 830. So 30 minutes after they got the ringless voicemail, I'm going to say, Hey, first name. I just left you a voicemail. Did you get it? If not, let me know. Thanks. And then I'll put my first name, meaning me. And there's my first text message. Okay. Now let's say I want to send an email as well. Uh, and let's say the email, I want to go ahead and send it uh, the same day, maybe the same time I send the voicemail, right? Hey, first name. An email to say hello. I am writing this to let you know that this CRM works and if you're interested in something like this, let me know. And I will put first name, actually I'll put full name, my full name and I will put my phone number and I'll tell you where you put this information so you know where they're they're sourcing the tags, right? So I'm going to save. So uh, on day one, they're going to get a ringless voicemail and an email at 8 a.m. And then 30 minutes later, they're going to get a text message, right? And then I'm going to add another text message, two days, and I'm going to do it uh, maybe at noon. And I like to kind of spread it out when I create it because I want to see when they respond. They might not respond in the morning, maybe they'll respond more at lunchtime, maybe they'll respond after work, whatever. So like when I build like a 10 day CRM, uh, not CRM, a uh, follow up, then I might have the first one at 8 a.m., the next one at 11, the next one at three, the next one at five, just to see where they respond, right? Because of, again, my dashboard shows me when they respond and usually what time they respond, right? So I'm gonna say, hey, first name. Did you get my last text? Let me know. And I want to put my phone number. So there's my second text right there. Right. And, you know, me trying to make this an actual serious campaign that I would actually employ, I would probably send them, uh, I said five touch, but I'm going to go ahead and make it six touch because I'm going to send them an email and a, another text message. So this one is going to be three days. And I'll put this at 5 p.m. so that maybe they'll check it when they get home. 
Hey, are you ignoring me? <laughs> First name. It's my full name. But it's your boy. <laughs> Yo, call me. My phone. Actually, I'm going to put signature. And that's 5 p.m., right? So I'm going to make a text message to go along with that. And I'm going to make it three days. And I'm also going to do it at 5 p.m. I just sent you an email like two seconds ago. How come you haven't read it, haven't replied? Call me. And there you have it, six drip campaigns, which I feel like I did it in less than 10 minutes. Yep. Um, and if you already have it written, then it's even easier, right? Uh, you, to check the preferences, you click here, you can select the time zone. I have it so it's only 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., but if you notice, I had some drip starting at 8, it had some drip starting at 5. The problem with that, if you have it like, let's say at 8, it wouldn't send until 9, okay? Okay. So, because you you know you want to respect time, and they they're really smart. They designed it so the earliest is five a.m., which of course is crazy. Who would ever you know text at five a.m.? But they made it so it's five a.m. So I'm gonna make it eight a.m. And the latest is actually going to be eleven p.m. So you can't text someone at two o'clock in the morning. Like my robot funnel won't send a text at two a.m. in the morning, even though I get leads at two a.m. in the morning. And those people, they're like, who the heck is this? You know, like why are you texting me at two a.m.? They don't realize it's a robot. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, so I actually stop at nine p.m. You see. And I can select the pipeline. Where do I want this lead to go to? You know, if I add these leads, which pipeline do I want them in? The first pipeline, the second pipeline, one pipeline might be for ages, one pipeline might be for prospects, one pipeline might be for uh, refis, one pipeline might be for referral partners, whatever, right? Uh, but I can select the pipeline. I only have one built, but I have like several. I can build it real easily, okay? And again, I can do force calls. Do I want to send on weekends or I don't want, or I don't want to bother them Monday through Friday? I can do that as well, okay? And um, you can name it wherever you want. Uh, I turn it into a six day, uh, six drip, six touch drip is what I like to call it. And I'm going to say it's a three day campaign, right? So it's a three day with this messaging and it has six different drips, right? Uh, and that's why I named my campaigns a certain way because I want people to be able to look at the campaigns and understand what it is. You know, this is a 15 day, 16 touch drip. This is a 10 day, 14 touch strip. This is a 100 day, 58 touch strip. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why I did that. Even though it's really clumsy and long, you could rename it wherever you want, but I just want to describe it so that you, as the user, can automatically know, okay, this is one that I probably don't want to mess with right now because it's 58 freaking touches. Maybe I'll do that whenever I have a weekend off, right? But uh, 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 17 drip, I can edit that real quick. Five drip for sure. You know what I'm saying? So that's the rationale behind why I named the campaigns that I did, right? And you can see all the campaigns I built out and you can go to the page and you can see, there, there you go, there's that one, right? Yeah. Now, again, the campaigns, are, the campaigns are not just about the messages, it's about the entire uh, success of the campaign, right? So it tells me how many leads I got, how many responded, how many I won, how many I lost, when they replied, right? Uh, it gives me all the analytics so that I know that this campaign is working or not working, right? I mean, let's say you have a, a, a split test. Let's say you have two different campaigns. One is really aggressive or one is not as aggressive. Maybe one goes uh, out every single day and one goes out every week. You can actually compare them and see which one gets the better response. You know what I'm saying? So right. things like that is valuable to me as a marketer. And I would believe that you know anyone who is dialed in and uh, you know has a lot of leads, and they you know they're all about the conversion game, right? Automated conversion game. This would be very valuable to them. And I didn't even care about this until I saw it. I was like, holy crap, this is awesome! I don't know why I haven't had something like this before. You know, I mean, like Lightness has a conversion thing, but it's very complicated. I don't understand it. Um, this one's like pretty much cut and dry. Uh, so yeah, uh, you know, 
you know, again, I, I want your question, but I just want to say one last thing before I, I uh, you know, I finish my presentation. Um, this is literally pipe drive, lying desk, and agent legend combined. Okay, I don't know if you ever use agent legend. Agent legend is very easy. It's very easy to edit and 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 add voice notes such. But I believe this is actually easier. Uh, but it has the Ringless voice note, which is cool. But it's like 200 bucks or 300 bucks a month. Okay, it's crazy. And the max leads you can upload is 50, which makes no sense to someone like me who has thousands of leads. Okay, I would spend more time uploading than I would actually dripping on them. You know what I'm saying? I would have to pay two or three months with the subscriptions before I can get my leads to even get started, right? Uh, so uh, not to talk trash about them, but I'm just giving you the facts, right? Uh, Again, I like it. I think it's like pipe drive because, you know, again, you can have a pipe drive view. Uh, you know, whenever well, I don't have any leads right now, but you can see the pipe drive view, right? Uh, and you can drag and drop, which is really cool. I don't know how many pipelines you can have, but from what I was told, there's no limit. Um, and, you know, of course, you can kind of see, you know, the prospects here. But I mean, it's so simple. I mean, a lot of like line desk is a good example. Uh, so that's how, so it's a combination of pipe drive, agent legend, and line desk. Line desk is very, very detailed. It's very robust, and it's almost like an overkill of information, right? Um, I just want to know what leads I have that have responded, have not responded, so I know who to call, who who to text, and whatever. That's all I need, right? Uh, and of course, you know, line desk has more than just a follow up as their one of their features, but. Um, at this point, when I'm trying to get a lead to respond to me, I don't care about anything except for the fact that their their number's good, their email's good, and they're responding, and that's it, you know. Um, but you know, of course, I have a different mindset than everybody, so uh, I'm, I might not be the right fit. But that's the reason why I like the CRM because it matches my personality and my way of marketing, uh, and I think it's built for people who just don't have time to call every single lead, uh, but want ease when it comes to developing campaigns for them to at least try to convert their leads that are just sitting there collecting dust right uh, so yeah uh, hopefully that makes a lot of sense Do you have any questions yeah so um going back to you so infinite amount of leads you can upload say that again how many leads can you upload uh, i've never tried to max it out right uh but i was i mean i was informed that you know there's there's no limit i mean i i have clients who uploaded like 1500 okay and then have you has there been any feedback on you know using this system and not necessarily specifically this one but you know the automated follow-ups versus doing it yourself um like you know conversions as far as you know do you get 50 percent 60 percent better conversion from this or this for me from my personal experience i have no idea i haven't even employed this yet Right. I've been busy building it out for the, you know, for, for, for you guys. Uh, but obviously I'm going to employ it on, on my own uh, marketing, but I haven't been, I haven't been able to do that because it takes time to do that. It takes time to personalize all the emails and the signatures and such. I mean, like these are very simple campaigns, right? Uh, right. So, so in my campaign, I would add a link to my, uh, my videos. I would add a link to my chat bots. I would add a link to my 1003 pre app 1003 link. Uh, but I don't put those in the campaigns because, again, not everyone has those assets. So I try to make it as bare bones as possible, and you can customize however you want. But for me to build up my follow-up, I would probably have to spend uh, another couple of weeks just for my own marketing. So um, that's an excuse, but that's what I'm, I'm going to stick with. <laughs> so who, who would set up the campaigns for me and who would set up, like, you know, that signature thing, the first name, last name, all that stuff? So – uh, when you sign up, there's a form that you would fill out, right? And the form, uh, it's a Google form. It's very simple. Uh, but the form itself, uh, and let me go ahead and open it up so you can see what I'm talking about here. So this is the form. It's very simple. Um, ask first name, last name, email, address, phone number preferred area code and your text signature because again this is a very simple crm and it's designed to get the maximum uh, contact rate uh, anything that's html or image based can actually get flagged and get put into the uh, spam box right we try not to do that right uh, i'm not saying that it's spam proof but it can happen but the less of the extras that you add to an email 
the less likely it's going to be marked as spam. So that's why we use a text signature. Okay. So the text email or the, when they text somebody, it's not going to come from my phone or come from some ghost number or whatever, but I would be able to, it would come then to my text messaging on my phone and I'd be able to respond to them from that or would I have to log in the system to respond? If they respond to the text message, you actually get an email alert about it, right? It doesn't, it doesn't go to your phone. Okay. Uh, but you can text from the CRM and it goes into their, their text, you know, like whatever, like their uh, phone number. Okay. And then there's going to conversation mode. You were showing me that message mode. Yes. Yes. That's, and, and that's how I actually would recommend doing most of your communication. But obviously sometimes you're on the fly, you can't do that. Right. But you can log on to, uh, to the FUBOT CRM and it looks exactly the same on your phone as it does, uh, if you were to use it on the computer. Um, so, so like, no smartphone app, huh? Sorry, say that again. No smartphone app. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. But I'm pretty sure they'll develop one eventually. Uh, right now, they're still building out a CRM. You know, there's lots of new changes. Like before the pipe drive view, when I first uh, started using it, the pipe drive view didn't even exist. Uh, they just added that like last week. You know, so like this view right here, they didn't have this. You know. So they're slowly developing the CRM right now, but you know we're all beta testers right now at this point. Right. But uh, I'm pretty certain that uh, you know these guys they're pretty smart. You know I'm pretty sure that they'll they'll set up a way to do, use it on the phone. If not, then of course we'll have to lobby for it. But but yeah, I mean I can't answer that because I don't know. How many emails, text messages, and ringless voicemails can I send per month? Uh, that that's a tricky question. Okay, because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make it so that you don't have to pay for it. Right? You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to pay for it. You don't have to do anything. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay, I want to make it so it's as simple as possible. But yes, there is a possibility that you will max out, uh, you know, like the uh, what we would call the statistically average amount of text message emails and voice re uh, email, uh, voice list, uh, actually, no, ringless voicemail. Um, so yeah, at this point, I don't have a cap or anything like that. Uh, but uh, you know, I have discussed it with people who are also you know involved in the CRM, and they they're coming up with numbers and such. You know, we're looking at you know maybe anywhere between like a thousand text messages a month, maybe like a hundred voicemail drops, and about fifteen hundred, a thousand to fifteen hundred uh, call minutes, right? Uh, so I don't know how how much. I mean, uh, oh, there's also an auto dialer. So let me show you this. I'm glad that we talked about this. You can actually auto dial people, right? So let me see here. You can call, right? So you can change the filter. So let's say I want to talk to only agents. I only want to talk to refi people, right? You can actually, uh, you know, tag, select the tag or select the campaign. I only want to talk to people on this campaign or that campaign, right? And you actually put them on a call. So you put right here and actually sets it up so that you can start dialing them. Oh, I better stop. It's probably just price. Yeah, it's price. It started calling them right away. <laughs> but yeah, you can put them on a dollar and actually start dialing them. Okay. Um, so I haven't employed this, so I don't know all the ins and outs of it. But I, I definitely believe. Let me hang this up. I, she probably, she's probably like, why is my phone ringing? I definitely believe what would happen is they would pick up and they would ring your phone and you'd be able to connect with them. Uh, so I'm telling you that because if you want to use this as a dollar, which you can. Uh, there, there will be a limit that you may reach and then we would have to discuss that. But at this point, because we're on beta stages, I'm still trying to test everything out. And yeah, if I would be using it as a dialer, but definitely the, you know, ringless voicemail, text and emails would be great to have, a, you know, an unlimited amount or you know, at least an, a, a huge enough amount. Cause like you were saying, there's that other one, I think it was pipe drive, whatever you said, it only has only like 50 ringless voicemails a month or something like that. Or, you know, text well, or whatever. well, what it was, what it was, Oh, uh, see, look, she just told me she got a phone call from me. <laughs> Sorry, I was demonstrating. Uh, we'll talk later about it. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, I completely understand. Uh, you know, but there will be people who want it for the dialer, right? Uh, so just just wanted to I guess uh, let you know the limits. You know, it, it, yeah. 50, it'd be like ten, uh, it'd be like a thousand to fifteen hundred minutes. Uh, so, I mean, of course, if you're on the phone that much, uh, you know, trying to convert people, then obviously you're, uh, you're heavily uh, ex uh, exploring the power of the CRM 
and hopefully you're doing better. And then I could be like, well, you know what? Uh, you know, I might have to kind of bump you because you're using more than the, the allowed amount or maximum amount or whatever. But I'm trying not to cap it. That's basically what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to make it so that you don't have to worry about that. But, you know, there, there's always the opportunity of that happening. And if we have to, we can always do like a, what do you call it? Like a, you know, a bill, bill per, per month, which I don't want to do because I, I plan to have hundreds of thousands of people uh, using this. And I wouldn't want to try to bill a thousand people. You know, I'd rather them just pay a subscription and we're done, you know, um, and I'm trying to keep it as low as possible, which is why, uh, you know, uh, I, there has to be some sort of, you know, a reasonable limit. Right. Uh, but of course, you know, it was available like, your, you know, your 10 days of pain, would that be available or, you know, any of the other things too, that are just kind of plug and play. I get, I, I'm giving you all, all my campaigns. Yes. Uh, well, uh, let's put it this way. Agents will get agent campaigns, loan officers will get loan officer campaigns, uh, and then, of course, like people who are like in specific coaching groups and such, they'll get different campaigns as well. Uh, but, you know, I'm probably going to give all loan officers, I mean, all agent campaigns to loan officers because I believe that you can benefit from having that. So you can edit it yourself and then, uh, you know, maybe even share it with your referral partners. I'm not going to give agents the loan officer campaigns because the loan officer campaigns are very heavy on like mortgage conversation and verbiage. Right. And it just wouldn't make sense. Like they, they wouldn't be able to do it legally. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, so that's the reason why I'm making that decision. But if I have an agent that says, Hey Larry, I want all the campaigns. I don't care what it is. I'll probably share it with them. So we'll have to see, but that's the mindset I have right now is that agents are going to have agent campaigns and loan officers are going to get loan officer campaigns and possibly some agent campaigns as well. So the cost is how much now? Uh, right now for the beta is $39 a month. And what happens if it was non-beta? Non-beta, I'll probably go up to like 60, 70, 80 bucks a month. I don't, I don't know. I'm still kind of playing around with those numbers. Uh, you know, again, this is kind of helping me figure out, you know, what, what I need to price it at. Right. If I, if I join during beta, am I locked into that price then? Or once you stop doing the beta, then it can go up? So if you, if you join beta when it's available, then no, that, that'll be your pricing forever, right? Okay. I mean, the only reason I would change is if, if, if like the people that are helping, that are providing this for me, I was like, hey, you know, we're going to triple the, the cost. Mm -hmm. And I might have to be like, well, now I got to off, offset it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Right. But I would, never, I would never like increase prices arbitrarily just, just to do it. You know what I'm saying? It, it would have to be like, a, I'm sorry, what? Is there a contract? No, no contracts. No, absolutely no contract. I never do contracts because I don't want customers that are not happy. Right. Uh, 39 bucks a month. You're probably talking a thousand text messages a month, fifteen hundred emails, and how many regular voicemails again? Actually, emails emails will probably be uh, pretty much unlimited because they're 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 fairly cheap, right? Yeah. So emails you probably won't you probably won't be paying for emails or. Uh, you know, I mean, unless you're sending like a million emails a day or something, you know. Um, so, so emails, don't worry about that. Uh, text messages is about a thousand, maybe higher, right? A month. Uh, voicemail drops is a hundred ish a month and phone calls are going to be based on minutes and that's going to be about a thousand to 1500 minutes. Right. I probably wouldn't do the phone calls, but so everything else. So the emails, the text messages, the voicemail drops for those numbers you just said, it's 39 bucks a month. There's no additional charges or anything. No, 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 no. Again, only if you like go crazy, right? Let's say right. you, you, you yeah. send 10,000 text messages, then I might be like, Hey, we have to figure something out, you know, because I'm actually right. losing money with you, you know? Right. Um, so yeah, but no, that, that's going to be, that's and again, it's beta stage and beta is almost like uh, my way of saying, Hey, anything can happen. You know, you know, uh, I might take this away. I might add this or whatever, you know, that's why it's a beta. Uh, but, but yeah, I mean, that, that is actually the intention you gotta understand one of the things I'm trying to do is I'm trying to, uh, you know, of course, make everyone happy who becomes a part of this. So that's why increasing prices would be a bad thing because I'll probably lose clients because of that. So I'm trying my best to make sure I set it up so that we can all win and no one gets hurt, right? Um, so at this point, uh, the beta is you kind of joining to kind of help me because I might ask for feedback, whatever, and I might ask for some favors, like, hey, can you give me a review or something, right? Um, but that's what, that's why it's beta right now. Plus I'm trying to, you know, of course learn myself. Like I'm, I'm, I'm kind of done on the back end. I'm actually trying to figure out, okay, I should change this. I should add this. Maybe I should add more campaigns, whatever, you know, Oh, people are, are saying that, you know, this is lagging, whatever. So uh, it's giving me a chance to kind of, uh, develop it. Right. And then eventually right. when I believe it's solid, then it's not going to be 
is no longer going to be beta. It's going to be, uh, you know, normal, I would say. Uh, I'm definitely going to make it so that, uh, again, no matter who signs up, when they sign up, it's going to be a win for everybody. All right, send me a sign-up sheet. All right, perfect, man. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and send it to you. Uh, actually, I'm going to send it to you right now because I'm going to send it to you, Messenger. Now, do you have any other questions? Uh, you know, obviously, and you know me, uh, I'm, I'm around. You know, so it's not like, you know, I'm going to I'm going to get you to sign up and then you'll never be able to reach me ever again. You know, right. Um, so do you have any questions right now before we. No, uh, not right now. Mm -hmm. Perfect. I really appreciate it, boss. Uh, and again, I want you to know that this is recorded. I'm going to use this uh, for future training purposes and uh, as well as to kind of answer people's questions. Um, obviously, if you have any questions, you can always reach out to me. I really appreciate it. The opportunity to uh, work with you and uh, of course if you have any questions just give me a call all right definitely thank you very much Larry. i appreciate you guys you have a good day you too thanks and i'm gonna stop share and uh just again wanted to of course thank you guys for watching this video uh i'm gonna do a lot of these videos and i'm gonna make a, sort of a collection or a collage or edit version so that I can pretty much cover as many bases as possible so that, you know, with you watching this video and other videos in the future, you can have pretty much a strong perspective or strong bird's eye view as to what uh, FUBOTS and FUBOTS are about, okay? Again, this is Larry, the Robot Maker. If you have any questions, give me a call, text me, email me, where you like this. Larry, the Robot Maker, Robot General. I'm out. That mic, always in the way.